Hello students. The problem is find the Z transform of UN is nothing but cos hyperbolic of n pi by 2 plus theta. So we need to simplify. We need to find Z transform of cos hyperbolic of n pi by 2 plus theta. So solution. The solution is what here. So UN is equal to we need to find the Z uh, cos hyperbolic of n pi by 2 plus theta so we need to find z transform of this so we need to find z transform of cos hyperbolic of n pi by 2 plus theta so we'll uh, conclude at the end this situation now so so we know that so here we'll apply the exponent formula first so here cos hyperbolic of n pi by 2 plus theta can we write uh, can we we can write this one as exponential uh, by using the exponent formula as 1 by 2 times e raised to e raised to it will be n pi by 2 plus theta plus e raised to minus n pi by 2 plus plus theta so exponent formula I have applied here so which can be written as that is cos hyperbolic of n pi by 2 plus theta is nothing but 1 by 2 times I will rewrite it will be I will separate this because it will be e raised to theta into e raised to n pi by 2 plus e raised to minus theta into e raised to minus n pi by 2 you uh, open this bracket you will get minus pi n pi by 2 minus theta so on separation we will get this so now here we will take z transform on both the side so z transform of cos hyperbolic of n pi by 2 plus theta is equal to 1 by 2 times so here we will treat uh, uh, e raised to theta as constant e raised to theta as it is z into e raised to n pi by 2 because uh, in this e raised to theta we don't have any n term so that's why we will treat as a constant here we have n term that's why we will apply z transform plus e raised to minus theta is also constant so we'll apply z transform to what here e raised to minus n pi by 2. So therefore, which is nothing but we can write 1 by 2 times e raised to theta z transform of e raised to pi by 2 raised to n plus e raised to minus theta z transform of e raised to minus pi by 2 raised to n but we know that but we have the important result that is z transform of k raised to n is z divided by z minus k will apply this formula in both the terms so therefore what we'll get here so z transform of cos hyperbolic of n pi by 2 plus theta is nothing but it is 1 by 2 times bracket e raised to theta so z transform of k raised to n so k value is pi by 2 e raised to pi by 2 so that is z divided by z minus e raised to pi by 2 plus e raised to minus theta z divided by z minus e raised to minus pi by 2 now which is nothing but 1 by 2 times we'll take the lcm lcm is z minus e raised to pi by 2 into z minus e raised to minus pi by 2 cross multiply e raised to theta into z into z minus e raised to minus pi by 2 plus e raised to minus theta then z we have cross multiply this 
So z minus e raised to pi by 2. So be careful in the calculation. So therefore on simplification numerator as well as denominator. So which is nothing but 1 by 2 times. So numerator you open the bracket. It will be e raised to theta z into z it will become z square e raised to theta e raised to theta z into minus times e raised to so it will become minus z e raised to theta of e raised to minus pi by 2 plus second term simplification it will become z square e raised to minus theta plus into minus is minus z e raised to minus theta into e raised to pi by Denominator z into z is z square. So plus into minus is minus z e raised to minus pi by 2 minus e raised to pi by 2 into z is minus z into e raised to pi by 2 minus minus plus e raised to pi by 2 into e raised to minus pi by 2 it will be e raised to 0 e raised to 0 is 1. So now the simplification part is 1 by 2 times so z square e raised to theta plus z square e raised to minus theta i will take z square common will get e raised to theta plus e raised to minus theta in the numerator then from this minus z e raised to theta e raised to minus pi by 2 and here so what happens here i will take minus and z common so e raised to theta e raised to e raised to minus pi by 2 I have taken minus and common means plus sign e raised to minus theta e raised to pi by 2 divided by z square so among this you take minus and z common it will be e raised to pi by 2 plus e raised to minus pi by 2 plus 1 so again on simplification 1 by 2 times z square into e raised to theta plus e raised to minus theta minus z into so i will write this one as so bases are same add the powers so it will become e raised to pi by 2 minus theta plus e raised to minus times pi by 2 minus theta it will be Okay, uh, I had taken this part as first and this one as what your second by taking minus sign common divided by so z square minus z so e raised to pi by 2 plus e raised to minus pi by that is e raised to theta plus e raised to minus theta is nothing but 2 times cos uh, hyperbolic of theta so I can write this one as uh, 2 times cos hyperbolic of pi by 2 plus 1 so therefore on final simplification of the numerator denominator is simplified now already uh, it is uh, denominator uh, already it is simplified form so only numerator is going to be simplified so z square so e raised to theta plus e raised to minus uh, theta is nothing but 2 times cos hyperbolic of theta minus z times e raised to pi by 2 minus theta plus e raised to minus pi by 2 minus theta it will be nothing but uh, co, uh, 2 times cos hyperbolic of pi by 2 minus theta denominator is as it is that is z square minus 2z cos hyperbolic of pi by 2 plus 1 so this is uh, nothing but a required solution uh, of the given uh, un that is therefore z transform of cos hyperbolic of n pi by 2 plus theta is nothing but two two you take outside it will cancel with this two so it will become what here finally it will be z square cos hyperbolic of theta minus 
z cos hyperbolic of pi by 2 minus theta whole divided by z square minus 2z cos hyperbolic of pi by 2 plus 1. In the numerator you can take a z common or else keep as it is no problem. So one of the standard and a very important question for examination point of view.